Hello everyone. Welcome to study automation. Today we are going to see how you can live update CSS using Chrome extension tool Amino. So let's get started. Here we will write Amino Chrome extension and then we can open the first link from here and then after that we need to install this Chrome extension. So now Chrome extension is installed and uh, then you can find here installed one you can pin it. So after installing it we can open flipkart.com and then you can see we have this plugin available here that is Amino Live CSS Editors. We will click on it and then you have to first create account first time and by filling email ID password and then once it will be done then you can click again here and then click on sign in. Now from here you can sign in and then we can close it again. Now from here we can edit any CSS and we will click on it and then you can see by default it selected flipkart.com. Now here we have few options. So if I will click on inspect element and then I can click anywhere. For example, let's say I'm clicking on deals of the day. So it is selecting the CSS. So H2 dot something. So this is the selector. So I'll just click on it. It is copied. And then if I will again click here, it will open the window where we can edit the CSS. So suppose this is the CSS uh, selector. And if I will say, let's say color and then color, I'll say green, save it. So once you will save, it will automatically change the color here. Similarly, you can inspect any other element. For example, uh, let's say click it again and then now I can uh, select anywhere. Let's say I'm trying to select this one. The selector is copied. I'll click here again and previous one will be saved. Just we need to paste the new CSS selector. And here we can update. So for example, let's say I'll say background color equal to uh, red. Save it. So now it will change the background color of that. And until unless you have the CSS available, right? You can refresh the web page, but it will be available until and unless this plugin is available. So this is one of the good help that you will get that your CSS will be available. You can now format this CSS and then you can use it in your project. And uh, along with that, you can also add it using right click Amino. And then here you can see copy the selector, inspect element, open editor and reload page. You can do this thing along with that you have inspect you can go here and then you will see this option a style and from this style go to the end of that and here also you will see amino this is the same ui and uh, here you can add and edit css so you can open it or, or directly you can right click here once it will come that window, you can click on pop out and it will open the same page, same thing in another page. And this way you can use your uh, CSS. Along with that, sometimes we need to get the color, color code or color of the web page. So for that also, we have <coughs> color selector and we can select the color from there. So copy it and here you can see this option this option is used to choose the color so if i will move my cursor so it will show 
the color of that particular button or that particular page from anywhere you can choose this color and if I'll copy it we'll go here and then instead of writing directly the uh, red and green we can basically pick from there page is refreshed the thing is URL is changed hence the previous CSS is not available so if I am now back to the same page and here I want the different color I'll simply do this and save it so now this is for the one we are seeing here similarly you can modify the any CSS that is available in the page using Amino Live CSS Editor. Hope you get something out of from it. Thank you so much for watching the video.